So hi and welcome again, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Kua and I'm going to go over what intercession is. Um, there are two components to it and then um, we'll break down some of the benefits as well of um, intercession. And so what is intercession exactly uh, for folks who do not know? Um, intercession is a condensed semester um, or mini semester at some students may uh, know it as. Um, and these mini semesters, they do fall between the fall and spring term. And so the best way to think about intercession is that it's an optional mini semester where you can earn credit for uh, classes that you may need. Um, and courses that we offer during um, intercession are really a mixed bag of, G of GE requirements, majors, prereqs, upper and lower divs, et cetera. And intercession is offered twice a year. The first one being winter session, and then the second one is summer session. Um, and both do, uh, the co uh, components for each do vary, uh, uh, it does vary a little bit. And so for our winter session um, is typically the first three weeks in January. And so winter session is the upcoming um, intercession. Um, and you can take up to four units um, during winter session. You could take more. Um, there is a petition for that, uh, but the maximum um, for now, uh, the maximum that students can enroll in without having to petition would be four units. Um, and one of the great things about winter session is that because it is only three weeks long, there actually are no campus fees that you will have to pay. Um, and so that is approximately about $700 that you are saving just from campus fees alone. And uh, during winter session, we do typically offer about 200 classes and registration usually begins in mid-October all the way through December. And so if this is uh, something that you are interested in and you haven't enrolled in a course yet, registration is still open for winter 23 until December 16. So that's about two weeks from now. Um, so then the next intercession is our summer session. So summer session is uh, consists of two sessions and it's broken into three segments. So there is two five week sessions, one from June to July, and then from July to August. And then there is the 10 week session, which spans the entire summer from June to August. And so for summer session, students can take up to 12 units and campus fees are prorated depending on the session that you take. So for example, if you take a class during session one, uh, which is from June to July, uh, or what well, class is starting in June, um, if you only take a five week class in session one, uh, then your campus fees will be prorated only for that five, uh, only for that session. But let's say that you end up taking uh, two classes, one in session one with classes starting in June, and then session two classes start in July. And so if you end up taking a class in June and another one in July, your campus fees will, uh, will reflect that. Um, during summer, there is over 500 classes that we offer and uh, registration typically opens um, in early April or mid-March to early April, um, all the way until the first day of class or the end of May. And so the timeline for when registration opens to when it closes to when the first day of school will uh, would be for the intercession is usually about two months. And so if that makes it a little bit easier, um, you can kind of remember it that way. So if classes start in June for summer, registration opens in April. And so the question that we get a lot from students when we talk about intercession is whether financial aid is available to students. And depending on the session that you take, um, it, the answer could be different. And so for winter session, um, because it is only three weeks long, uh, unfortunately, there is no financial aid um, for, this, uh, for this mini semester. Uh, what we have heard from students uh, before is um, they were able to set aside some of their uh, fall semester funds to cover some of the fees uh, for their winter class. Now, this is something that you have to talk with your financial aid advisor uh, with to figure out if that's something that is a possibility for you. Um, and then for summer session, there is a Pell Grant that uh, San Jose stu uh, SJSU students can apply for. Uh, you do have to meet certain requirements uh, in order to be eligible. Um, and there are financial aid 
advisors uh, available to talk to you to answer questions about the summer Pell Grant for students. And so if that's something that you think you'd be interested in uh, for this upcoming summer, um, definitely talk with your advisor about that as well and they can help you figure out those pieces. Um, and so other, um, other uh, questions that we have received from students is about class modality in regards to whether classes will be offered online or if they will be in person. Uh, typically in winter session, classes are majority offered online. Uh, majority of the courses for this upcoming winter, winter 23, uh, mostly all the classes are online uh, with, some, with some exceptions of in-person classes like labs and whatnot. Uh, during the summer, it could be a mix. There could be hybrid, uh, in-person only, or online courses during the summer. Um, modality of a class does, dep uh, does depend on the instructor and how they would want to offer the course. Um, and so during the summer session, we do see more, it's, it's, it does lean a little bit more on the online side, at least just from this past summer that we saw, uh, but with campus, moving back to in-person classes, summer 23 could see a shift in that too. But it, again, uh, it, it's really, uh, uh, it, could, it could be, it could have a, a number of in-person, online and whatnot. But typically for at least for winter session classes, uh, most of them usually are online uh, since it falls during the winter break for both students and staff on campus. Um, the other questions that we get from students is the type of classes and whether a class will return uh, for the next intersession. And so classes do usually carry over every year with some exceptions. Um, classes that are offered during summer and winter, it does depend on the student demand and also on faculty availability. And so if there is a class that you are interested in taking or that you need to take for your major, um, and if you don't see it offered, during summer or winter, uh, definitely let the department and your faculty know. Um, so then that way they can also, um, uh, you know, advocate for those classes to be added on. Um, if you want to get an idea of courses that were offered in the past, our websites right now for summer 22, uh, the class schedule is still available. And so you can go and see what kind of courses there are to be able to plan ahead for summer 23. Uh, for this winter, uh, since registration has not closed uh, yet, uh, what you see on our website right now would be the current offerings for uh, for this winter. And so definitely check that uh, check out the course schedule to see if a course that you need to take um, is being offered. Um, the other note I wanted to make as well is that um, intercession is not mandatory. These are um, these mini semesters, you're not required to take, uh, to take these mini semesters and you're not required to take a certain number of class or units in order to uh, enroll. And so if one class is all you need, that's a, that is a, let's say a one unit class, you can just take that one unit class and that one class and that, that would be it. And so uh, we do um, sometimes get asked if these are mandatory semesters and they're not. Uh, there could be students who have attended uh, SJSU and never taken a intercession class um, and that's completely okay. Um, and then there are a good handful of students who utilize um, intercession uh, to be able to uh, either catch up on courses that they may not have been able to get into in the previous semester um, or uh, get ahead to be able to graduate faster. And so that actually takes me into some of the um, some of the some of the benefits. But before we get into benefits, um, on your screen here is kind of a breakdown for um, how um, the fees will look like for this winter, since it's the most current intercession. Um, our residents of California and non-residents they do pay the same fee, and so we do get uh, questions from students asking whether out-of-state student needs to pay different fees and they do not. And so during summer and winter, uh, whichever fees it is will be will be applied to all types of students. And so as you can see here in the chart, um, how, it, how we broke down is for a three unit class during winter will cost um, 840. And as you as you can see, there are no fees, uh, no campus fees that are associated. And so for a three unit class during winter, you're looking uh, to pay uh, about 840. Um, and 
to the right of the uh, table, you see there is a comparison for spring. So a three unit class during the spring costs significantly more um, and there are more campus fees that you have to pay. So if you are, let's say a, uh, a senior who only needs one or two classes um, uh, to complete before you are done, um, and you know, before you meet your graduation requirements, um, it may be better to take that class uh, or those two classes that you need during uh, during winter. Uh, in this example, uh, because then you're saving at least at least two thousand uh, dollars from uh, from just uh, campus fees alone. And so, uh, something to think about um, as you continue to plan. I'm not sure uh, what. Uh, what grade uh, the, uh, the students who are attending are, but we can talk more about that once we uh, get to the uh, Q&A section. But something to think about. A majority of the students that I would say that I that we have seen that do attend summer and winter are usually our juniors and seniors. This isn't to say that uh, freshmen and sophomores are not taking classes during summer and winter. Uh, there are, uh, but I would say um, about 70% of the students that we see um, in our demographic of students uh, are usually more on the juniors and seniors, uh, which does again make sense um, if you're thinking about um, completing, you know, catching up on those courses that you that you weren't able to take, uh, catching up on, you know, finishing out those GEs, um, or you know, just getting ahead and just um, you know to be able to graduate faster. And so, um, I think that the benefits there uh, for students could be uh, could be great in terms of how you utilize intercession. And so we'll go ahead into the next slide, which will uh, go over uh, the five top reasons of why intercession is a great benefit to students. Uh, these are uh, these are benefits that we've heard students tell us uh, over and over again. And we really want to reemphasize these uh, because these are really good benefits um, as you as you start to plan out or continue to plan out your academic plan at SJSU. So the first benefit is that you are earning units in weeks rather than months. So you're looking at a 16 week class that is being condensed down to either that three week format in winter or the five and 10 week for summer. And so you are earning those units a lot quicker. The second benefit is that students um, have graduated faster by utilizing a winter or summer course. Uh, we did a study uh, actually back in 2019 and 2020 on students who have taken a winter session class uh, compared to their peers who did not take a winter class during their time as an SJC student. And we saw that about 84% of students who took a winter class actually did graduate faster than they intended. Um, and so that is definitely a great benefit for students who are trying to get into the workforce or into their careers a lot faster, especially uh, during the pandemic. Uh, the third benefit is that you can complete prerequisites. This is another great benefit. Um, say that you're, uh, you want to take a class during the spring semester, but it has a prerequisite course that you need to take. And let's say you weren't able to take it during the fall. Let's say it was an impacted course um, um, and you weren't able to register due to uh, the class meeting the maximum capacity. Um, if it's uh, if it's offered during summer or winter, you can take that class and to be able to meet the, the prerequisite that is needed for the class that you need for the next semester. Uh, so that's definitely a great way to utilize summer and winter. Um, the fourth benefit is that as, um, you know, before I get to the fourth, I'll jump to the fifth, uh, which is the saving money. And um, honestly, as students, I'm a, I'm a graduate student myself at SJSU and we all love to save money. We will all want to save money. And I think that uh, especially during winter when uh, campus fees are not um, required and then during the summer with prorated fees for campus fees, it definitely helps and it goes a very long, uh, it goes a long way. Um, and then to touch on the last benefit is that as SJC students, you do have advanced registration. And so what I mean by that is that during summer and winter, registration is not limited to only SJSU students. We do open up registration to the community and to also uh, to other uh, uh, college students as well, whether that be from other universities or other community colleges or private institutions. Uh, we do open up courses that we offer to, uh, to the public in general. And so as SJSU students, you do have two weeks 
in advance to register and kind of get first dibs on classes before we open them up to the public. And so if there are students here today who are not an SJC student, uh, definitely let us know and then that way we can uh, walk you through the process or give you an idea of what that process will look like coming from a non-SJSU student point of view. And so uh, registration for uh, summer and winter for SJC students is the same as you would enroll in classes during fall and spring. So you would enroll through classes uh, via your My SJSU account. So as an SJSU student, when you enroll in classes, it's not any different than how you normally would enroll in courses. And so I, I know this was a lot to take in, uh, a lot of information that I threw uh, to all of you. Um, we are recording the session and so uh, and, and we'll be um, sending it out to all the students who have registered. And so if you don't remember anything um, or if you don't remember everything that I had talked about, uh, you'll be able to receive a copy of the recording for today to go back and uh, review. Um, and then these, uh, this is our contact information. Um, if you think of, any other questions uh, after today, feel free to reach out to us. Um, our email is here on the screen. Um, and Mike is um, actually a staff who um, handles our inbox. And so he is also here today to help support in case there are questions. Um, and then our website is also here in case you want to go and check out uh, again, for winter, especially for winter with registration still being open for the next two weeks, if that's something that you're interested in taking a look at, our website is here uh, for you to, uh, to navigate to.